Hello and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. Today I'm doing some more project life. I'm just finishing off late January. And so my last project life video should have included um, what I'm what I think I labeled early January 2022. And so I just have a few more photos left for the later part of January of 2022. And so I'm going to continue to use these cards that I had made. They're DIY cards that I just cut from a six by six paper pack from the Millie and June collection from Fancy Pants. And uh, I really liked the process of scrapbooking with those cards last time. So I'm just going to continue and finish off this, uh, this month with it. Now, when I spread them out across two pages, it felt a little sparse. So not all of these photos are really necessary or important stories. Sometimes when I'm printing up my photos and putting together my ephemera for Project Life, I'll put more in than I really need just in case I need to fill out some, some holes every here and there. But in this case, I have lots left over that I really don't need. So. I'm going to be uh, just scrapbooking these these photos that you saw there. I'm using my template as usual. This is just a handmade template that, based on a Becky Higgins Design A page protector. And I'm going to cut a piece of vellum that is exactly four by six to fit entirely over this photo. Basically, I find that the morning dove there is difficult to see in the photo. So what I want to do is just cut a little circle in the vellum so that you can see the little morning dove poking through. And then I'll do some journaling on the vellum that is over top of it. So you'll have this kind of like a layered look where you'll have vellum and then in the center, there'll be a hole where you'll see the the morning dove. The rest of the photo is really not very nice, so it's okay to cover that up. It's just like the wintry rocks and grass and leaves and stuff on the ground in my yard. So I like how that looks, but I, I almost feel like maybe I might need two layers of vellum instead of just the one. I did cut two pieces of vellum, so I think I'm just gonna sit on that idea. Oftentimes when I'm doing my project life, what I like to do is um, is kind of the ideas that I have first, I'll scrapbook first. And that's why I'm, I'm scrapbooking this picture of the morning dove right away, because I feel like I, I had a sense of what I wanted to do, which is this idea of having like a peekaboo vellum layer here. Um, so I'm not there's something about this that I'm not loving. So I'm just going to think about maybe using a different a different dye here. And I, I don't think I'm going to like that. I thought maybe on my second, like I do have another piece of four by six vellum that I cut. So I could maybe do a star instead, but I don't, I'm not going to like that. The the dove is very circular, like his body is puffy and, and circular. So I think that the circle shape really works well here. I used a set of Lawn Fawn stitched, cir stitched circle stackables <laughs> uh, to cut that out. And uh, I think that I I was surprised, I don't know why I was surprised, but I was surprised that the stitched lines, of course, are on the inside circle. So there, there were no stitched lines around the outside edge. So that's why I was kind of thinking about, is there another die that I might want to use here? But there wasn't. I, I like the look of it. Just a plain circle is fine. It doesn't have to have the stitched lines around it. Uh, so as you can see, I just used my journaling template. I didn't really need to use my journaling template. I could have just hand drawn the 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 lines like I did here because the my grid mat gives me a nice a nice lined template as well. So I have my lines for my journaling and I just have to also pick out some some letters because I want to spell out the word morning dove. So I'm just uh, looking through my small letter stickers that I keep in my project life area. And I found these really cute pink ones. And I think that they work well with some of the colors in this collection that I'm using from Millie and June. So I'm going to spell out the word morning dove using these little letter stickers. These are Kelly Perky letter stickers from a couple of years ago. I used to subscribe to Kelly Perky kits and uh, her Project Life kits used to come with these letter stickers in them. I don't know if they still do. She now uh, works under the, the company name per, paper, paper Person. So if you wanna look for her and see if she's still making these stickers, 
They're really beautiful. I love working with them. I love that it's the same font and it comes in a lot of different colors. It, it's really good for a project life because it gives you some consistency from week to week to week. So I'm just spelling out the word morning and then when it comes time to put the word dove, I'm going to justify it over to the left. And having those grid lines on my mat really makes this process a lot easier. It's so easy to scrapbook on vellum and then layer vellum over something else. It's a really great way to uh, make sure that your work is all lined up if that's important to you. So because I really like my titles to stand out, I will often do some outlining around just the outside edges of my letter stickers. So I have a, a special pen that I use for this. It is a 0.005 pen, which is a very, very fine tip, which means that it can fit in between my little letter stickers. Even when I place them fairly close together, I still can fit my little uh, felt tip in between them and be able to give it a nice little outline. This is a pen by Prisma. So as you can see, outlining these letter stickers for my title on this card really helps them to stand out. And especially once this vellum is over top of that photo that has some fairly distracting, kind of like modeled background, uh, images, I guess, going on, it, uh, it, it does a good job of standing out when it is uh, outlined like this. Now, I just want to use my own handwriting to say in distress. So it's morning dove in distress. I think he was okay uh, because he disappeared. And so I, I think that he was, just, maybe he was resting. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but we were worried about him and we went to, and see my in the in distress kind of went up a little bit it, it even with the line there I somehow managed to, to make to make that word not quite straight but that's okay it's got that nice hand written look and so I just did that part in cursive and then I'm just going to do my journaling in my regular printing handwriting so I'm just writing we noticed this little guy by the hot tub not moving much even when we approached we were trying to figure out if we needed to call Hope for Wildlife to help him, but he disappeared before we could call. So I think I had read on Twitter or something that there were some local birds that were sick or like in trouble or something. And if you saw them, you should call Hope for Wildlife. Hope for Wildlife is a local organization. They're like an animal rescue, but for wild animals, not for pets. And uh, they used to, they might still have a, a show on, on TLC, on the Learning Channel, or I think it was on TLC. Anyhow, uh, they're a really wonderful organization, <laughs> but we didn't need their help because he seemed to be okay. So I have decided to double up my vellum, which means I'm going to have to take a minute here to figure out how to make these circles lined up exactly. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to glue the two pieces of vellum together so they don't move around too much. Vellum can be fairly slippery, especially next to itself. So uh, I'm just going to glue those, tape those together with washi tape, and then I will tape the die in place. And then once I have the die in place, I'm actually going to detach it from my original piece just in case it's a little bit off. I didn't want to mess up the hole that's already there. So uh, then now, obviously, I have these two pieces of 4x6 vellum and they have a hole in pretty much exactly the same place. But if it's a little bit off, I can always just kind of line it up within the 4x6 pocket. Uh, and so as you can see, they line up quite nice, uh, quite nicely. And uh, yeah, just double checking there to make sure that this is the look I'm going for. And it actually is. So see how with the two layers of vellum, the journaling is a lot more bold and obvious and easy to read. So now my question is, how do I attach these pieces of vellum to one another and to the photo? And the easiest answer is always stapler when it comes to attaching vellum to something else, because then you don't have to think about, is this glue going to show through the vellum or not? Because it's not glue, it's staples and they're meant to show. 
there are different options like I could have tried to hide the the glue um, or use certain glue that doesn't show as much but you know what it's just easier to staple it so I have these Allie Edwards little wood veneer pieces that were left over from the 2021 actually <laughs> uh, January kit called uh, stories by the month and uh, I didn't scrapbook <clears throat> using that kit, so I just pulled it out and uh, used it for some of these more recent Project Life pages. Now, this that I'm scrapbooking right now is a, uh, it's a, an image that was provided to me by a designer who I paid to uh, design something for my channel. Just, I wanted to have some a little bit more professional looking uh, and fun. I guess fun was my primary objective, little images. And I am terrible at designing, like I have no skills for this kind of thing. So I just hired somebody else to do it and they did a wonderful job and I really love it. And uh, so anyhow, uh, these are like the first drafts that I had to just kind of approve, I guess, and, and give feedback on. I adored them, so I was very, very pleased. And I just wanted to include this in my project life because I don't do much of this kind of thing. So it was a bit of a big deal deciding on somebody and hiring them and getting feedback. It was like really exciting actually like waiting for this image to come in and and seeing it for the first time. So that was quite fun. So I wanted to make sure I included it. So as you can see, I did uh, I did mount it with black cardstock just to give it more impact. Everything is so light here, right? Like, you know, the colors are all and the color scheme of the images is almost identical to that floral paper from the Millie and June collection. So it really matches this card quite well, but everything was kind of getting lost. So I decided to mat the photo with a very, very thin black mat. And then of course my journaling here, the journaling says, this is the first draft of the artwork being created for me to use on my YouTube channel and in videos. Now moving on to this photo here, this is a picture of my stickers, which I recently reorganized. And so I wanted to, I like including photos from around my scrap room because my scrap room is a big important part of my life. I love spending time in here. I work in here and I also play in here and I do activities with my kids in here. So I love including this. And I wanted to do this half and half kind of design on the four by six paper. So I had a piece of scrap here, so I just lined it up as you saw and cut off the excess. And now I, I did also mat that photo in black and I'm just pulling out. These are, are some of my design ideas for Project Life and just for kind of like making my own DIY Project Life. I just like to keep in mind the patterns that I use and that I, I find easy to use. And so uh, I just added that to my little journal of design ideas. And now instead of outlining here, just for a little bit of interest, I decided to add some faux stitching across the top. Uh, it, it just adds variety. It also really emphasizes the fact that this is layered. This wasn't just like two tones on a card. It was, it's two pieces of paper. And I wanted to emphasize that one is over the other. And uh, so I, as you can see, I already had this circle piece of vellum sitting around. It was one of the cutouts from the Morning Dove card. And so I thought I might as well use this for my journaling. So I used these Kelly Perky letter stickers. These are from the old Kelly Perky Project Life kits that I used to subscribe to. I think they were called documenter kits or something like that. And uh, I really loved those kits for the, these stickers in particular. So I have a whole bunch of them in my stash in a variety of different colors. And they're all the same font, which makes it really easy to mix and match them. And I didn't have a C in the black, so I just filled in with the gray. Because it's a, it's a very, very dark gray, and you almost can't see that the C is a different color. I mean, you can if you look really closely, but I thought it looks a little bit like it's it was designed that way. So we'll pretend that it was. Now, I want this title to say Sticker Reorg, 
but uh, I just need to find out which <laughs> which letter stickers I'm going to use, which is determined a little bit by what letters I have. So I really love these. These are from Studio Calico, and I love how, uh, how they're similar to a typewriter. I especially love this lowercase g. I love any font that uses that kind of loopy lowercase g. And uh, so I am going to, am I going to outline those or am I going to journal? No, I'm going to journal. Uh, so the journaling here says, I took down my clip it up and put them in a RASCOG. Them being stickers, of course. The title tells you what they are. So I'm just going to layer that in behind the photo and use my good old uh, tiny attacher to staple the vellum in place so I don't have to worry about how I'm going to stick that down. I decided to just add a little dot there because the reorg is not a real word, um, a full word. And now I'm going to scrapbook this photo of my daughter's crystals. So we, she's been changing up her room as her Christmas present or her birthday present this year is that we're kind of renovating her bedroom. And so I wanted to take a picture of her crystals all in one place because they used to be all spread out around her room. And uh, I, her name is Sophie and I didn't have an E in this letter, in this letter sticker set, but I definitely wanted to use it. So I just took an F and added using my gel pen. It's just a jelly roller, um, white gel pen. I just changed that F into an E. And I'm going to call this Sophie and her crystals just for a little bit of variation. And so one of my kind of quick ways of getting rid of the little centers of these letter stickers. This can be one of the most annoying things about using small letter stickers is that you end up with, like when you pull the sticker off, the little center piece comes, like the little trapped center of the R there. So the little strategy that I use is I stick that letter to my finger. You'll see me do it right now, I think. And then I just poke it through with my, with my, fingernail. You could use a little poker if you don't have long fingernails. Uh, and that just creates, like basically you have to bend the letter sticker so that it detaches from the little centerpiece and then the little centerpiece will stick to your finger. Uh, so my journaling here says she has been collecting crystals for a few years now and has some real gems. Ha ha ha. I can never resist adding a little dad joke in there ever here and there, even though I'm a mom. So adding a little wood veneer arrow just finishes that off. Whenever I have two cards that go together, I don't always do this, but I often will add an arrow that just makes it clear that these two belong together. So I am almost finished here, but I'm thinking I would like to add a circle to this page as well to this little card. So this is another piece of that three by four inch Millie and June paper that I had pre-cut back for my other, like for the other pages that go along with this page. So those are already up on my channel. And uh, here I am just die cutting with using the exact same die that I've already used for that morning dove uh, vellum. So I've got another vellum uh, piece here and I just wanted to layer it with a piece of cardstock. I didn't want to journal on the cardstock alone because it was, I, I just felt like this toned it, the vellum toned it down a little bit. It also adds a little bit of texture and it's a bit of a repetition as well of that vellum element that shows up elsewhere. So my journaling here says Nixie sits with Liv while she plays Heyday and I just used my regular tape runner for the adhesive because I knew that the photo would cover it. Then I'll stick that onto this pattern paper three by four inch card and trim down the edges and we're done with that one. So now for this one, I was thinking I might wanna use this paper. This paper is quite busy. It's not my favorite pattern in the collection, but I do want to use it. I like the color scheme. I like that it introduces that darker blue. I felt like I didn't want, this page is too pink and, pink and mint green already. So I, I like that this pattern paper introduces that element of the darker blue that is also picked up on in the pattern paper that's right below the, where this card is gonna go. 
So I added a bit of journaling just on a piece of white paper and trimmed it down to a little journaling strip. It says, spend that Sobe's paycheck, girl. She was very hesitant to spend her money and uh, we encouraged her to spend her money on something for her, like something that she might not be able to afford to do if it weren't for having a job. So she decided to get her, eyelash her eyelashes done. Something which we would never pay for for her. That's not something we would even do for a gift usually. Um, so yeah, she was very, very pleased. And they look lovely. So here I am. This is actually another t day, I think, or at least another um, session. Yes, I have finally taken my nail polish off. So this must be another day. Uh, before I put this away, I just decided that it needed a little something, something. I was a little bit too tired when I was scrapbooking and really pleased to be done. And I kind of, I didn't put it away on purpose because I thought I might want to add a few more final touches. So I'm not sure where these white hearts are from. They're white chipboard hearts. They look like they came in a kit, either a Kelly Perky kit or an Allie Edwards kit, maybe a Studio Calico kit. Uh, but I had it in my stash and I thought that repeating these hearts in a few different places on the page would just add that final touch of detail that I was looking for and also help the page feel a little bit more pulled together and finished off because my pages aren't usually as, as plain as this page was before I added the hearts. So I'm adding them in little pairs and little singles every here and there, as you can see, just places where there's space and where I think they'll, they'll add something to the page and not just kind of be there for the sake of being there. And one more, oh, am I going to put one there? I don't think I am. I thought about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put one there, actually. I think I like it just the way it is. So that is it. So here's how this page looks all on its own. It is on the back side of the other Project Life pages that came before it. So this is late January and I have, I think, two and a half or three pages uh, that came before it. If you missed those and are interested in seeing how they came together, they were also made with this DIY uh, Project Life kit. Um, you can check out my channel for those. This is Chloe. She says hello. She made it very difficult for me to take these pictures. Every time I got them lined up, she would walk over them and mess them all up again. So say hello to Chloe in the comments if you got this far in the video. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. You see them all up there on the channel. Take care and have a really great scrappy week. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, just click any of these buttons on your screen right now.